So we've been talking about Kafka Connect Source and Kafka Connect Sync. And you may be wondering where, where does it fit in my architecture? How does it interact with my sources and Kafka? And you want to visualize it before we get into the hands-on exercises. So I've put together a slide just to show you the architecture of Kafka Connect. So here's your Kafka cluster. And as we've seen, our Kafka cluster is made out of multiple brokers. In this example, there are four brokers. And here is your source or sources. It could be, as we've seen before, a database, MongoDB, Twitter, whatever you want. Okay, And you want to put that source into your Kafka cluster. So in between your source and your Kafka cluster, you have your connect cluster. And we'll see what a connect cluster is made of. But basically, a connect cluster is made of workers. Okay, Workers will get a connector and a configuration. And in the first step, they will pull data from sources, according to the logic that someone else wrote for you, or that you want to write if you write your own custom connectors. Then after getting that data, it will just push it in a second time to Kafka cluster. And that's it. You have your connect cluster pulling data from your sources and writing it to your Kafka cluster. Now, as we've seen this before, in the third step, you may want to transform that data, do some transformation, aggregation, some joins, and so on. That's what you have a streams application or your streams API. This is not covered in this course, but here it is. In the third step, your streams API just change your data in and out of Kafka. Then in the last time, you want to sync your data into your syncs. And your syncs could be, again, databases, Elasticsearch. It could be S3, HTFS, whatever you want. So now you probably can guess where I'm going with this. But how do I put my data from Kafka into my syncs? Well, it's pretty easy. You tell your connect cluster, your connector, and your configuration. And it will pull data from Kafka and write data to your sync in a fifth time. And that's your typical Kafka Connect and Kafka Streams architecture. OK, so just to summarize, data comes from your source, goes into your Connect cluster made out of workers, and pushes that data to Kafka cluster. A bunch of Streams API could be Spark, could be Kafka Streams, could be whatever you want. Transform that data from and to Kafka. And then finally, again, your Connect cluster pulls the data from Kafka and writes it to the syncs that you've configured. So just to summarize, the focus of this course is what's in the black box right here. We're going to see how to set up a connect cluster. We're going to see how to set up connectors, how to pull data from sources, straight into Kafka, and then inversely get data from Kafka and sync into the syncs that you want. It will be Elasticsearch and JDBC. So that's it for all the theory. And now we're going to get into the nitty gritty. We're going to start our connect cluster.